Hi guys! This is La Therapy. In our therapy, one of the things people do, they facing the enemy. I decided to do just that. My enemy today is a coronavirus because everything we can see, whatever happening, it's all happening because of it, right? So I'm preparing to create coronavirus and the, um, then we will see what we will do with this. Since it's St. Patrick, I got some green colors. <laughs> So we can fight that and celebrate, uh, fight current, uh, coronavirus and celebrate the um, St. Patrick as well. What we need to do. So first thing, we need to have the putty knives, spatula. I do have the, another YouTube video, so please check it out. And the, hopefully you, um, you know what to do with this. It's not... Please, after that, go on YouTube, check out my uh, online video on spatula. And like I said, uh, there is another video on the materials and what to prepare. So by tomorrow, hopefully it will be all set. But today, if you don't have it, just sit and enjoy. So we would need the background first. So people who took my classes, they know in my basic one, when we did the negative space, uh, we used to do it. So. First of all, put your gloves on. I know it's hard to find it right now, but hopefully you have one pair sitting at your home. That's a perfect time to use it. <laughs> if not, just wash your hands. It's easily washable after that. So you don't need to put too much. Otherwise, you will literally just dive into this. So just put just some. And here we go, what I do. We just need enough to cover the canvas. We don't need too much. That's more than enough. Here we go. So I start with black. Why? Because I think the virus is a bad thing. So it should go on the black, right? <laughs> My putty knife. And I'm basically just spreading, just spreading the colors on a canvas. The way how you do it, you just slightly pushing the, the paint like this from middle to the sides. Okay, so we are done with preparation of our canvas. And by the way, I'm using nine by 12 canvas, but most likely you will read about this uh, when you will watch my YouTube video. Oh, the channel name is Zlata Rabinovich. Or if it's hard to pronounce for you, you can just go Zartfan, the same as in my Instagram, Zartfan, and you will find it there. So there's quite a few videos there for you to enjoy, right? So are you ready? What we do to create the beautiful and horrible virus, we actually take our colors, I will start with this green. As I said, we do have today our holiday, the St. Patrick. So our virus will be in the green as well. So I will put few spots and I will do one extra right here in front. I don't know if you can see it. Like, okay, let me move it. So you will be able to see it right there. I hope you can see that. Yeah, so now you can. And the, I will add there some different colors to make sure everything, oh, oh it's starting to move. Um, everything mixing in the right way. So that's a dark green. Again, I keep going with, oh, I went too far. That's what happening when you talk and do, but that's fine. We always can work with this. And let's put more here. And I will put a little bit of yellow. Why? First of all, if you will look at the virus, you will see it does have some yellow. Second, it looks pretty cool against that dark green. So, why not? Okay, so I got the colors. Now, I'm taking my balloon. So, it's just a regular balloon. And the... Um, I just put some air in this and the water. 
you can hear that right so let's start so i'm just pushing it in and kind of going like this uh oh that looks like a bug right to make it even better go there get your colors and go back and do like right nearby ha now you see we are starting to get that body feel that's what we need that's a bug that's a big bug okay that's a coronavirus which we actually all hate so much and that's why we staying home oh my gosh more and more if you need more color go in like that grab more color add more yep like that like that like that just go a little bit over the edge it always looks cool when you kind of squeezing over the edge then it's kind of like show that it's not all ended in the middle but it has the range you can go anywhere you want so it has a con nice continuation it has a nice flow so i always prefer to go and just step a little bit outside of my painting no matter what painting i do i always do that so here we go we got a lot of viruses let me show it to you like that you see but they're not really looking exactly like real viruses so let me fix that for you let me just do the thing use the torch okay anyone who took basic two knows this tool so we just need to release that thing and it looks amazing right so first you go that way and then go straight here again i do have a video on how to use the torch so go on youtube and check it out okay let's see what we got it already looks a little bit like messy and looks like virus look at this oh my gosh that bad bad virus we just had you know to make it even better more believable what i would suggest we can add a little bit teal color that's usually my favorite but this time let's add it a little bit to make it even stronger so we will all know it's beautiful but it's really bad for us we don't want to deal with this and i will add a little bit white because whenever we have something dark and light it always looks amazing okay let's get another balloon you can do the smaller one like this and let's go and do that okay i got it and again hop it has those small things around okay clean it up if you want to go for the next one always want to keep it clean like your hands keep it clean every time whatever you do keep your hands clean and your balloon as well so now it's clean let's go for the third one yay yay okay now it's real virus oh my gosh it looks scary look at this it really look scary such a scary looking virus and you know what i wanted to do all that time since we got the news that this thing is killing people i really wanted to destroy it and that's in the part of art therapy you know like when you facing your enemy you see someone who's really really doing something bad to you or to people who you love you need to destroy it you need to put it out and destroy it so I put it out oh my gosh i messed it up but anyways so 
I'm doing what I really wanted to do for a long time. I'm going to destroy it. good guys I don't know if you're going to do that but it feels amazing it's soft it's nice and there is no more virus whatsoever I don't have any virus on my canvas or in my mind so it's all gone I'm so happy. So guys, I promise I will never, ever, ever do it again. I never used to do it. This is not something the way I usually paint. Whenever I paint, I usually celebrate um, the creation. But this time, that's a bad thing. It deserved to be destroyed. So, we created and destroyed the thing. We figure out what tools we need. Thank you again for being with me. It was great. I really love doing this. Bye.